Yeah. So we have to take out all the, I just switch on the light. <laughs> so here is uh, our wine cellar where we do all the work after the harvest. So we press the grapes, separating the stems from each uh, raisin. And here we do the fermentation. The fermentation that means that the sugar are naturally transformed into alcohol. This is thanks to the yeast that are on the skins of the grapes, actually. So the skins are very important. But it's uh, <laughs> for a <day> in Moretta, <laughs> 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 Moretta, he doesn't, he doesn't speak Italian. Acucha, acucha, so, cucha, cucha, no. Moretta, cucha, acucha. Oh, there you go. So, uh, now she has to show her reference. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, good timing, but we so usually the fermentation takes not so long, I mean like 10 days, a week 10 days, and it goes. Uh, it's the maceration that uh, gets, takes more time because uh, it, um, as I was telling you, the, the, the skin, the maceration is the wine and the skin, mm -hmm. is very important because the skin, they have, uh, uh, they release the color also. So they release the color, they release the tannins, and they release the yeast. Something that is not in the white wines. Because the white wines, they just press the grapes and take the skins immediately out. So they have to put the um, artificial yeast uh, and oh. so on. And that's why the white wines, they don't have tannins. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and here, so the, the color is released by the skins. The more you keep them with the, the wine with the skin, the more color it releases. Not always in the sense that there are three Italian grapes which are out of this room. This is the Sangiovese, the Nebbiolo. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Nebbiolo is a grape that is used for the Barolo wines in the north of Italy, in Piemonte. And Rossese, which is uh, not known at all, but it's a Ligurian uh, grape. They could be, the wine could be in contact with the skin even for a year. They won't release any more color than they have. As the Pinot Noir, actually. The Pinot Noir is another one, the French Pinot Noir. The same. To make a rosé wine, the grapes. Uh, the skins will stay in con red skins will stay in contact with the juice just for a couple of three days. Okay, short time. So short time. Mm -hmm. During the period of the fermentation and maceration process, we have to um, we have to let circulate the wine uh, and the skins into the vat. And this we use the pump. We attach a pipe here. And yeah, with the other pipe, we go on the top and on the top, and we start washing with the wine the, the skins that float in the bed. So this process is done twice a day, close. So pipe here and pipe up. The once a day that we do, uh, we put this tank below here. We open the valve. The wine will just go juice, wine, what's developing, will just go into this tank and with the pipe that should have been attached here, we do the same process. So there is a little bit of air going through. Mm -hmm. so, because uh, the wine doesn't have to breathe, but it has to have a, an unperceivable oxygen. oxygen. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So, and this goes for, uh, it depends, maybe 10 days, 15 days, 20 days, so. After this process is done, 
we take all the wine uh, out and we take it in the other room where we do then the vinification, the making, the aging. Instead, uh, the skins are pressed, not too much, because we want them to be so wet, and we take them to the distillery to make the grappa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Okay. we had none of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the grappa is made either with the skins, either with the wine. If it's made with the skins, usually it's drier. If it's made with the, uh, just the wine, it's sweeter, it's softer. Mm. So. So we go in the other room and I'll show you. We don't have the distillation machine. 